Hi, David is here from Karma. Today, I will show you our product and what our product is capable of. How can it change the way you say thanks or appreciate each other in your company? If you are on Slack, then Karma is the product you have to install. For less than a year, we have more than a million of Karma requests that's been given through our product. That means more than a million thanks and recognitions made through Karma Board that otherwise would be left unnoticeable. And that what inspires us. Let me quickly show you how it works. So first of all, you can draft our website, which is karmabot.chat, and just scroll down to the interactive tool. If you'd like to use our product in your Slack, so all you have to do is just install our product from a Slack store and then invite it to a channel. On the very base of our product, and the heart of our product is a daily recognition. Every other feature we provide, every other piece of functionality we give, is all comes on top. At the bottom and at the heart of the product is a daily recognition and appreciation. So how do you recognize your colleague with the help of our product? It's very, very simple. All you have to do if you see that someone done something extraordinary, you mention a person, you put a plus plus sign which is signed for our product, and you put a small description, why do you think that person deserves a recognition? And the return of our product will reply back to you with this nice gift card, or it could be as simple as a plain text. It depends how you use our product in your company. It'll have a few things on that card. It'll have a name of a person who received appreciation. It'll have a name of a person who gave appreciation, a channel, and then the reason. And it's a nice gift image, just, just to make sure that it looks cool. You can completely customize this card. It could be very simple, or it could be full of information on this example. You can do a few other things through our product. You can check the leaderboard. You can check how you're tracking the karma. You can check the company values that currently are in your company. Or you can give karma to the whole channel. So all those base things you can do without leaving your Slack. But when you leave your Slack, you need to log into the interactive dashboard. And again, you do it through our website. So you go to karmaboard.chat and then click on that login button in the right-hand side, top corner of your screen. And you don't have to worry about any passwords. We don't hold any person identifiable information on our end. So it's completely secure, just for your peace of mind. So all you have to do, you have to log in with the Slack login, and that's how you get to interact with Dashboard. If someone in your company left the company, and they no longer have a Slack login, that means they no longer can access this Dashboard. So this Dashboard is accessible only if you have a login. So let me see what we have here. We have a few tabs right on the top. It's, they call Karma, Rewards, Profiles, and Dashboard. This is completely customizable. So you can turn on and turn off each of those tabs. So you, this, it's not sealed in the stone for so the product. And I would say that a few times through our demo, it's very customizable for your needs. So right here at the Karma tab, we have a few leaderboards. So you have a received Karma, we have given Karma, Karma feed, and channel Karma. So received Karma means that the person who received the most of the Karma will be end at the top of the leaderboard. The given Karma is the second leaderboard, which we think is equally as important. And it shows who is in your company is the person who appreciates the others the most. Both of those leaderboards, can be sorted even further by company value, given diversity and inclusion to everyone else in the company. It's most likely if you'll choose another value, some different person is going to end up at the top of this leaderboard. Same goes for a given karma. The karma feed is the feed of all the karma in your company. All appreciations and recognitions anywhere in Slack where a product was added in any channel will end up here. And I'm looking at the system right now as administrator, so I can see anything and everything. If I look at the system of just Typical user, I'd be able to see only information that relates to myself. If I would look at the system as a moderator, and you can select the role which is applicable to every particular person through our role section, I'd be able to see everything but billing. So billing is visible only to the owners and admins of the Slack works, workspace. And if you don't see something when you log into the dashboard, or any of the options are not available, then I suggest you speak to your owner or an administrator of your workspace. So you can, as administrator, you can remove any karma requests from here. You can you cancel or delete, you can remove any of them if karma was given a mistake. And as well as you can make your karma approvals. If the option which says karma approvals is turned on, that means you can approve those karma points either via the leaderboard or through a personal message that karma would give every time the approval is need to be reviewed. So let's approve it from here. And let's decline this point. So you can see it's nice and simple. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Easy. So the next section I'd like to cover is the rewards module. The rewards module, as you can understand now, is all about rewards. So those small rewards that you can set up, and they can be redeemed by the members of your Slack. So all you have to do, if you drive here, it's just a normal user, if you have enough, 
karma coins you can check that in balance sheet how those karma coins did get to you and then you can also see the share of your bonus and the bonus in the quarter so all you have to do is just to redeem those points we have enough just click redeem in, in this particular case the comment for the rewards is not mandatory as i can see the redeem button is available so i click, click redeem yay we get this nice animation and it's redeemed from an administrative perspective we're in fulfillment now i just received notification that guest redeemed a large pizza all i have to do now is just to fulfill that order i go out i buy a pizza i bring it to the guy or a girl hand over the pizza and go back to my desk and click this fulfill button and that's it they would have been fulfilled we can find it in the history now nice and simple we would like to keep it nice and simple here at karma also we have this thing called bonus shares so you could share a pool of karma coins for your team and they'll get a certain split depends how much karma did they get in that period the period and the amount of bonus is customizable could be a week could be a day could be a month could be a quarter could be a year it all depends how you see it the next thing we have here is profiles the profiles are something that we build taking in consideration all the karma that's been given in the company and associated with a certain company value so every point that was given in the company when the values were turned on are allocated to a certain value the help of that we build this nice profile. You can sort this profile by any period of time. You can see at a glance the micro karma that was given to a person. You can see total amount of karma, and you can see you can see see a split of the karma points on each particular category. This is something you can print and put in front of you if you'd like to do a review for a person. Maybe you don't remember something happened half a year ago, but with the help of our product, you remember everything, and you can again make that possible. Positive recognition possible. You can in reinforce the value of that recognition if you'll talk to that person during the review. And then we have a dashboard. That's that's how it looked like. So this is this is the dashboard for my company. I can straight away see the amount of karma that was given in the company. I can see the leaderboard. I can see the available rewards and this week bonus. And also I can see the latest karma feed. This particular dashboard can go on the TV. It can go on a separate tab. It can go anywhere. But people can access and they have all the latest information right at their fingertips. Very handy and very popular. So let's see, let's see what settings do we have. So right now we have quite a few of settings. We have roles, which I already touched based earlier. You can make you can check that right people have the right access. You can make people who deserve being a moderator you can make the moderator you can also see if they can accept karma maybe have single channel guests or multi-channel guests you can remove them from accepting karma so maybe they don't have enough um they, maybe maybe they don't have power to redeem reward in your company you can always turn that off you also you can mute all the notifications that's what you can do here in roles moving down to the profile you can see your profile at a glance you can see how many Points do you have? You can see again the split of amount all the values. You can see who gave you the karma the most. So in this particular example, Tom gave me most of karma, your micro karma, and then your personal karma feed. Everything is sortable by any period of time or a custom range. Nice and simple. Then we have a settings. And I do recommend that you watch another video that I put together which says how to set up karma the right way. And I kind of give the overview. Of all the settings that we do recommend you turn on and how you add values and how you set up the rewards it's it's much shorter than this particular video that you're looking right now and it gives you a quick way how to set up our product so we have a few settings here we have global where you can choose the default view so every time the users will come to your dashboard what we, what view would you like them to see would that be a little bit then you choose karma if you'd like them to see the rewards then obviously rewards if you'd like them to end up on their own profile just select that profile. Time zone, language, it's language supported right now, it's Russian and English. We also have a few limits that you can set up. For example, you can limit the maximum karma per request and you can limit the number of karma that each particular employee can give within a certain period of time. So both of those things, they, both of those settings, I might say, they help your rewards to be efficient. So if you have a maximum karma that a person can give in one request and then a certain pool of karma that they can give within a period of time, that means you can set up the value of your rewards the way you like to make so everything's going to make sense people won't give thousands of cameras around and they'll know that those points are quite precious that's why both of those settings are there so you can turn on and turn off the micro camera for reactions so micro camera 
is something that we introduced not long ago. And what that means is you track all the reactions to all the posts and then small bits of karma will be added to that person. Really nice touch. Make, just below, make that important decision. Allow or just allow negative karma. We recommend that you turn negative karma off. We have this option here and some companies, they do accept the professional accountability as the form of deducting the points, but we strongly believe in positive recognition. That's why this option will be turned off by default and the administrator needs to browse here and turn it on. Mandatory karma description is one of the important ones. So first of all, you really like the person who's giving the karma out, get a small description, why the recognition, why something deserves the recognition. From the other hand, the person who receives the karma so it always feels good because they know why it was given. At the same time, we use and analyze the karma description and assign it to certain company values. So those three really important things do come from the manager karma description. And I do recommend you look at them. So we have a per-channel dashboards like that. If, if you have separate teams that would like to have different leaderboards, you can turn that on. Karma mantra for, for the rules of using your company and security and building contacts. Permissions, who can request karma? Would it be everyone or just owners and moderators? Do you think that recognition can go anyway or just from top to the bottom? Who can change those options? Either owners and moderators or just owners of the Slack workspace. If you like to people to be able to give karma to themselves, so that is allowed self karma requests. And also, I already talked about that approval process in the karma feed. So if you think that your company can live without approvals, and we certainly recommend that you turn that on, don't have any approvals, so just leave this on. If you think that moderators need to look after every karma request, then obviously turn that off. But we strongly believe that we have certain rules as I've already indicated in the global settings about the karma limits. And if we have those karma limits, the auto approve can be left on. Notifications, three important ones. There's a few things that I'd like to describe. The first one, post karma bot response in the regional channel. So if your Slack is all about less notifications, then you might want to turn that off. And direct message from Karma Board on the Karma Changes, you can turn that off as well, or you can leave it on. But what's really important is also the show reminder when inviting Karma Board to a new channel. So if you're creating a new channel, a board would say, hey, don't forget to invite me. It kind of it kind of becomes a habit later on down the track, but you might need to turn it on at the very start. And then copy announcements to this channel. This is very, very important to make the whole traction in, in your company and to make the engagement with the board on a different level. So what that means is every time the karma would be given to any in any channel, the copy of that announcement would be the copy of that announcement would end up in the channel that you set up specifically for that. And I'd recommend to leave it something like karma or at Kudos or just a karma board channel. And how does it make everyone more engaged? Well it's pretty simple. If you're not part of any every channel, there's might be a good chance that you don't know what's going on in every single channel. But if you're subscribed to this notifications or announcement channel, that means you could see all the recognitions that have been made all throughout your company because they all ended up in that particular channel. So really, really good and helpful for to keep that engagement. Um, just to see how our bot response responses back. And I've covered that when we've been talking about the base functionality of our product. So I've covered that a little bit. So you, here's where you can customize, would that be an image or would that be a text? And then what would you like in that response to be? So very customizable. If you don't remember what I was talking about at the very start of my video, just scroll back to the interactive tool that I showed at the very start, and that has all the information there. So, but this is where you can customize the response. And to keep the engagement and to keep the interaction with the board on, on high level, I'd recommend to put this post to come a little bit weekly. And this is another setting that we have here at Karma Board. If you like, then the little board for your company would be posted in the weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly, just set up what you like, and it will be posted in your Slack, and what time would you like that to be posted. So it really keeps the engagement up. Have a nice API, which you can use to give Karma points via the API or import some information. They can import some, export some information, so it's all there, it says all descriptions and everything else. If, uh, we don't have time tracking, obviously, now, but we have this bot called Time, which helps you to track the time and produce nice reports and look at the um, our channel as well because I'm putting together another video how to use time. But here it is, time board for time tracking, but not part of the camera board anymore. And this is the rewards module where you set your rewards. So basically we have a bonus period, which I was talking earlier when I was talking about the rewards and the rewards section. And bonus period is given to the whole team 
depends how many comments did they receive for the period. I'd recommend maybe just make monthly bonus period and just maybe 100 of coins distributed within your team. And then we have a lot of reward ideas. You can randomize them if you don't like those ones. And then here are all your rewards that you can add in your Slack. And then no limitations here. Just add as many as you like. It's all there. It's all the tools here. Values, very important. Talked about it earlier. This is where you add your company values. And together with mandatory comment description, you can produce the valuable reports to see what value is dominant in your particular company. Again, you can pull the list of values, but just type in add comment with values. That'll just give everyone a nice card to see what are the values in your company. We can also use our preset values. We've, we've came up with some preset values at some stage, so you can use them as well. And then this is where you customize your dashboard. This is where you can, you can choose how it will look like. Would you like to see the given karma? Would you like to see the rewards module? Do you need a leaderboard? If you don't need a leaderboard, just turn it off. It's completely customizable constructor. So the leaderboard can look the way you want it to look like. We have a health center as well, and you can also log out, out of our dashboard. So I think. That is a nice overview of everything our product is capable of. If you have more questions, feel free to ask them in the comments, and I'll, I will add another short or long video about a certain functionality. I will cover every functionality we have, every every tool we have, so karma, rewards, profiles, I'll cover in a separate video. Just so subscribe to our channel and just keep the uh, positive recognition around.